You are welcome to the Christian Singles Broadcast. My name is Olusha Gumukulu, and in this podcast edition, I'll be sharing on living a wrong relationship. Living a wrong relationship. My brothers and sisters in Christ, oftentimes we enter into wrong relationship. The Holy Spirit will prick our heart and help us to see that this relationship is wrong. If you are in such relationship, please come out of it. It does not pay to stay in a wrong relationship. It will lead to a wrong marriage and it will lead to regrets. There are several factors that could indicate to you that a relationship is wrong when a relationship is sinful it is wrong a relationship that is drawing you away from god that makes it difficult for you to read the bible makes it difficult for you to pray makes it difficult for you to fellowship for you to serve in the church any relationship any relationship that affects your relationship with jesus is a wrong relationship such relationship is not right for you when a relationship is violent when a relationship is abusive it is a wrong relationship i've seen women being beaten and yet they continue in that relationship being slapped and yet they continue in that relationship a sister now married told me was sharing with me how terrible she feels in marriage and what she was going through and as i listened to her i asked her before you marry this man you were born again i'm 100 percent sure the holy spirit showed you that this man is not right for you how come did you marry him and she sat down and thought for a moment and then she said it was true because shortly before the wedding they had an argument and the man slapped her maybe she thought she could change the man today she's suffering terribly in marriage i just pray and desire that god will show her mercy this is what happens when you refuse to leave a wrong relationship a relationship that is um that has trust issues as they say it this person has a lot of things to hide from you. There is no transparency. There is no openness. Or a relationship that is one-sided. You are the one that is doing everything to make this relationship work. The other person is not interested. You need to come out. It's a sign that you are desperate. You need to come out. That's a wrong relationship. That's a wrong or a relationship where you don't know each other. But you are planning to get married. You know, it's amazing how people can just get married. You meet somebody on social media or somebody is abroad. And then the person just comes and you get married. I've seen women get married gay men in such manner. Because they never just take time to know who this person is. Or you are, you are in a relationship with a married person. You are in a relationship with someone who is divorced. These are wrong relationships. These are very wrong relationships. You've got to be careful. You've got to come out of wrong relationship. Let me tell you two stories. Some years ago, a sister contacted me. And she came visiting me uh, where I am living currently. She traveled from another state to my state. Now, what was the issue? She said she's been in a relationship for four years. They agreed that they were not going to have sex. This guy agreed that they wouldn't have sex. So they were in a relationship for four years. Now, while they were in this relationship, this man was engaging in sex with another lady. So he had another lady with whom he was having sex regularly. Regularly. But agreed with this one that they were not going to have sex until marriage. 
the lady he was having sex with eventually got tired after four years and told this other one. So when she had, she confronted him. He could not deny it. And that's where the problem started. She was confused. She didn't know what to do. She was heartbroken that the man she was she was keeping her body for was actually sleeping with somebody all this while. So she became confused. But then a lot of people started counseling her that she should not throw away a four-year relationship just like that. Some will even say that's how all men are. Some ask her to for, for, forgive and move on. Then this man went to some pastors and pleaded with them to plead on his behalf with this lady. And those pastors foolishly came to plead with this lady that she should accept him back. And it was in that confusion that she came to see me. And then I told her, I said, this is clearly a wrong relationship. This man is not born again. You can't be born again and be living in sin for straight years. That's no longer a mistake. That's not, that's not a situation where you can say somebody fell. No, this is a man living the way he is. And the reason why he's so desperate for you now is because he had not slept with you before. He was keeping you. I said, so I will advise you to quit this relationship and see what God will do to you. Somehow, in the midst of the multitude of wrong counsel they gave to her, she heeded my only voice. I was probably the only person who counseled her to come out of that relationship. She did. Exactly six months afterwards, she met another man. This man, also a virgin. Six months after they met, they got married. And today, they have two kids. Now, if she had not come out of that relationship, you know, one of the things they said to her was that, where will you find the man again? How will other? She had forgotten about that man today. The second story is a sister who saw some of my posts and got in touch with me. She was in this relationship where this man she was going to marry at best could be said to just be a nomina or document Christian. This is a man that will even lie about going to church. They were not in the same location, so she will ask, did you go to church today? There are times he will lie that he went to church. You know, so but she was getting worried that how could a man be and not be going to church and not be committed to the things of God and so so she was really worried. So she contacted me. And then I told her, I said, see, the man is supposed to be the head that will be drawing you closer to the Lord. But with what you have now, he will be the one that will ultimately pull you down. And because he is the head, once you marry him. Is going to make a mess of your life if he has not truly repented and met Jesus. And I said, well, I cannot counsel you to leave this relationship. My duty is simply to tell you what kind of relationship you are in. The final decision is yours. So I didn't persuade her to make any decision. I just told her that clearly this is not right. A man that you are dragging to serve God is not the right person to you. A woman that you are dragging to serve God is not the right woman for you. She heeded, she, she heed the call and eventually decided she was not going on with the relationship. I can't remember now, but I don't think it was up to six months that she met another person. And this year, 2019, they got married. They are now living in the United Kingdom. And they are doing absolutely well. My sisters and brothers come out of a bad relationship. It may hurt you temporarily, but you will ever be grateful to God that you come out of it. You may have, you may have some temporary setback, come out of it. You know, for some, the problem is that they are in a wrong relationship that has financial benefits. 
And so because of that financial benefit, they don't want to leave it. My brothers and sisters, God is able to supply your need according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. If you are truly born again and you are a child of God, if you break off from that relationship, God will not put you to shame. The Lord will help you. Moreover, even if he does not provide for you, aren't you ready to serve Jesus at all costs? Aren't you ready to die for the name of Jesus? Those three Hebrew men, they said, Hebrew men, they said he is able to deliver us. But even if he does not deliver us, we will not bow down. You need to say to yourself, even if you won't marry, you will not enter into a wrong relationship. You will not enter into a wrong marriage. That is, the, that is the true faith of a child of God. That even if God is not going to come for you, even though you are not going to get married, even though things will not work for you, you will not compromise or bow down to anything the devil is suggesting to you. Let me close with this last story. There is this lady. I, I've, this one, I've had many, but I'm just going to share one. She was going to get married to a man. And when I heard about it, I told her straight away that this is a completely wrong relationship. Don't go into this type of marriage. Don't, don't even marry this man. For her, I was point blank. I told her the truth. I said, don't go into this marriage. She ignored me, and uh, for almost a year, I think whether she blocked me or deleted me, I couldn't contact her again. She got married to this guy. Exactly a year after she called me, when I picked the call, she was crying. And she said, I'm pregnant, sir. You are driving me out of the house. He has a new woman in his life. I told you, it was not good. In fact, I think I said it wasn't even going to last a year. And she's regretting. Till today, she's yet to recover. My brothers and sisters, relationship, wrong marriage can mess your life. It can destroy your future. Don't joke with it. Don't play with it. Don't put sentiment into it. Rise up. Come out of it. Break it. Move on with your life. Many who disobeyed and went into it, today they wish they were single. I want to read a passage to you. First, Second Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17. It says, Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, says the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. God will receive you. Break that relationship now. God will receive you. A word is enough for the wise. The Lord has sent this warning to you. The Lord has sent this word to you because he does not want you to suffer in marriage. If you disobey and suffer tomorrow, you have nobody else to blame but yourself. My prayer is that you will be wise enough to choose the right path. Joshua said, I have said before you this day, life and death. Choose life and live. I have also told you today that wrong relationship is evil. Come out of it. Choose life and live. May you receive grace to make right decision in your life in the name of Jesus. My name once again is Olusha Gumokulu. If you are receiving this podcast daily, it's because we have added you to our broadcast list. In case somebody forwarded it to you, and you want to be receiving it also every day on your WhatsApp. All you need to do is just to contact us, write us on WhatsApp, tell us your full name and your marital status. It is important you indicate that you are single. Please, it's very important because we have other podcast lists so that we can add you to the right and appropriate list so that you'll be receiving the right podcast. Your full name and then your marital status the number to contact us is this plus two three four eight one eight six one five seven eight five two you can use that same number to ask questions or share anything with us or invite us to your to your programs we have a free marriage course completely free that you do on your mobile device through email uh, we have topics like those you should not marry, signs of wrong relationship, how God connects you to your spouse, how God speaks to you, etc. We believe that those, uh, the, the course will greatly help you how to choose what is marriage, understanding your feelings, 
we believe it will greatly help you and prepare you for marriage. In case you want to undertake the course, all you need to do is to write us by email. The email address is BibleLoveHelper at gmail.com. Bible Love Helper is one word. Bible Love Helper at gmail.com. When you write, request for the enrollment form and please indicate that you are single because we have another course for married people so that we don't send the wrong form to you. Please indicate that you are single and then we will send the right form on to you. We have lots of videos you can watch on YouTube. The YouTube channel is Olusha Gumukulu or you can simply search for hashtag Bible Love Helper. You'll find videos short short videos where we have explained how to marry how to choose and a whole lot of uh, biblical issues as regards christian single relationship and marriage god bless you